Hello everyone, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2. Last time we landed on a gas giant. I don't particularly have anything more ridiculous than that, but I do have some things I still want to play around in this version of KSP2. And really I want to focus on uh, space planes. Space planes are always fun, and in KSP2 they do have this fully modular wing system that I want to play around with. So I'd like to see if I can create an SSTO. Okay, so I'm going to start off with this Phoenix bridge. Nice, thin little cockpit. And base things off this size. I was tempted to start off with a Mark III Condor size, which is much, much bigger. Probably do that in a future video. For now, I just want to start off with something at least relatively simple. As the controls don't really seem to want to let me clip this on as I would like to. Just gonna try it manually moving it around a bit then. Okay, so here's my probably very much over-engineered core. I've got a methalox center tank. These are all methane tanks with air intakes. I've got rapier engines around the outside. And then for the space stage. I've got a couple of nuclear engines here. This thing is probably going to need a little bit more in terms of wings and control surfaces, so I will start putting those on. And yeah, so KSP2, if you've not seen this before, does have some nice interesting wings here. You basically pick between different sizes of wing, stabilizer, and control surface. I believe the stabilizers can't turn at all. The wings have a that built-in little mini control surface. The control surfaces are all moving parts. You just put them on and then you can edit the hell out of them. So I'm just going to move these back. Yeah, nice guess. They ended up with centre of lift right on top of centre of mass. Okay, so it doesn't seem to be calculating delta V. Don't know if that's because I've messed up or it's messed up. We will just have to see. Here's my little plane. Seems interesting. No idea if it'll fly, there's one way to find out. Okay, so this vessel is the Rigger, and it looks like Dermone and Patup are going to be test flying this thing, so good luck to them. We'll be taking off from the runway. Uh, let's see how we do. Let's okay, just realise I forgot a couple of things. Solar panels are going to be quite useful, and I also want to fast forward until it is no longer the middle of the night. Okay, so SAS is going a bit crazy, so I'm going to disable that for now. Okay, engines on. Engines are in air breathing mode. Hundred meters per second. Rotating. This thing is very sensitive on the controls. Oh, this definitely needs a little bit of strutting. Um, this is uh, rather rather trying to uh, rip itself apart. Yeah, we're getting through methane quite a bit faster than I thought we would. This thing could do with being a bit longer. A bit more fuel in it. It is definitely going for it. Oh, it's running out of air at this point. And has no control. Okay, so it needs a bit more in the way of control. Did make it to over a thousand kilometers an hour, so that's a good chunk of the way to orbit. Yeah, needs more control at high altitude. Probably could use some more fuel, so back to the drawing board. Yeah, so put in a little cargo bay with a bunch of stabilizers and a couple of batteries. Increase the length of the ship so it's got a little bit more fuel. And put some struts in place to see if we can hold the wings together. Probably put some on the towers as well. Hopefully a little bit more stable than it was. Uh, the camera's gotten drunk. There we go. It's a little bit more manageable. Right. Let's 
So we should be a little slower on the takeoff here. Though SAS is not freaking out as much, so hopefully that'll be a bit better. 150, so gently rotate. Does not want to rotate. Need some more speed then. Oh, I didn't adjust the wings at all, did I? No, I did not. I forgot about chain in the centre of mass. Um, small problem. Uh, back to the drawing board. Uh, almost a soft landing there. Oh, that's because I have indestructible parts still on. That's why I didn't die. Alright, fix that. So next time that something goes that wrong, I should be able to see some pretty explosions. Unfortunately, SAS is freaking out again, but I will make do. We'll just move the wings back a little bit. Or angle them back a little bit. Alright. And flap us into the air. Gear up. Come on. Up you go. Good city plane. Very pretty. Even if this thing is struggling to, you know, go up. Oh, SAS is very unhappy with this. Okay, and the problem right now is the wings are fixed to these sections, but these sections are bending rather freely, so the wings are bending rather freely. Yeah, I think they really need to do something about the strength of joints without things. This is just a bit ridiculous. This is just flapping about. Yeah, and SAS doesn't know what to do with plane parts by the look of it. Just freaks out. Yeah, I'm getting over a thousand, but I'm almost out of fuel at this point. I'll just change over the mode and see if I can burn for upper atmosphere. Do at least have control at high altitude now, which I didn't before. Well, kind of control. Apparently just lost it. Yeah, the reaction wheels are not doing enough. And nuclear engines won't be enough to get us into space. Okay, so at high altitude I really do need to turn SAS on to make it controllable, but low altitude SAS makes it impossible to control. Even then it's not great. I think the biggest problem is just the lack of stability here. Everything is so flappy and bendy. So a lot more strutting, some of which has bugged out. Lots more strutting, hopefully that will hold together a bit better. I think for now I'm going to abandon the idea of getting to uh, Minmus or anything like that. I just want to get a SSTO, so dropping the nuclear stage, that will lighten us a lot. So reducing the control surfaces a fair bit. Alright, well let's see what happens here. Okay. 180, let's see if we can rotate. Yep, gears up. So it's more stable, it's not exactly fully stable, and controls are really sensitive. Oh, Jesus. Yep, really sensitive. And um, this isn't going to end well. Uh, we bounced. I don't think we we're meant to bounce. And um, I turned thingy off. Oh, let's put them back on. Okay, reverting uh, reverts your uh, settings. So sorry, no fancy explosions that time. Alright, let's try that again and just be very careful with the settings.
Okay, trying to get it off the ground. Here we go. Yeah, up. There we go, we're in the air this time. And yes, the central fin there is purely a strutting fin, but it's not actually meant to be aerodynamic. I just needed something to attach all my strut points onto. Uh, well, it's wibbling a lot. We are passing 1,000 meters a second. Still going strong, still accelerating at 1,500 meters per second. 1,500 meters, 15,000 meters even. Getting to lose engine power. It's going to a slight dive. We've still got methane. Let's see if we can get some more speed before we commit. Can't seem to get much more speed, so I'm going to go for altitude then. And we're running out of air, so go over to the oxidizer stage. Bone through oxidizer so much faster than the methane. And that has put us at 80,000 80, kilometers periapsis, so. Wait until we're a bit closer to our periapsis and then burn again, see if we can circularize properly. Don't know if we've got the Delta V for it, but we will try. Might well do. It's looking hopeful. Uh, the mission planner says we'll need about 200 Delta V. We've got 700 Delta V. Right, we're crossing 70 kilometers, so we are officially a single stage to space here. Just see if we can get this all the way into orbit. Alright, we're getting our burn. Alright, last little bit. There we go. We are now officially in orbit. Okay, success. Single stage to orbit. Managed in KSP2. Only barely made it into orbit, so definitely could use some improvements, but I'm glad we made it. And do it full orbit and then we'll see what happens when we attempt re-entry. I am not expecting to survive re-entry. Let's see, I'm not expecting to survive the landing. I'm going to give it a few orbits just so uh, the KSP center is back in a little bit more of a reasonable position. Okay, hopefully we've got enough Delta V just to deorbit us. If not, then these two are going to be up here for a while. There we go, we are now officially out of oxidizer. But we do have some methane left. Might be re-entering a bit sooner than I meant to. Never mind. Yeah, we're going to land on the night side. Uh, I say land. It has spun out of control while I was in time warp. Alright, trying to pull us out of the stall. Got aerodynamic control again, which is rather handy. Oh! The ground came a little bit closer than I thought it did. <laughs> okay. Well, still, we managed a single station orbit. It just then happened to... Um, explode. So didn't quite manage the landing, but managed to make it into orbit on a single stage, so I'll take that as a win. Anyway, let me know what you thought about that. Let me know if you've got any other ideas of what I should try on KSP2. Otherwise, I'm probably going to move back to KSP1 soonish, um, let KSP2 develop a little bit more before jumping back in. Uh, for KSP1, I'll probably be starting a new campaign, and it's probably going to be a, a heavily modded campaign, probably things like uh, life support integration, a lot of new parts, things like that, near future tech is what I'm thinking. Anyway, if you enjoyed that, please do consider leaving a like and or a subscribe, really does help, and otherwise I hope to catch you in the next video. Until then, remember to be kind to yourselves and everyone else. Cheers!